Greetings and welcome back to Earth's Feminine. This is the channel where you have come to remember primal feminine energy and release all of your colonized and conditioned beliefs around who you are as a woman and the feminine energy of the planet in general. So in today's video, I want to talk about no more detachment. That's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about how there should be no more detachment because I've been seeing a lot of how to detach videos and how to not care and how to stop caring and how to not be attached. And I think the intention of those videos are very like coming from a good place because there is a plethora of people who have realized that they have a lot of anxious attachment um, styles of coming into relationships. Like they have this anxious attachment or um, even avoidant attachment because sometimes anxious attachment is also like you can also be an avoidant attachment style in a relationship when you have anxious attachment style and if you don't know if you've never heard of anxious or avoidant attachment styles it's basically where um it's basically where you have this kind of insecure attachment style it's not a secure attachment style in a relationship to where you're fully confident you feel completely okay with who you are and you 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 basically show up as a healthy individual in a relationship in anxious attachment styles avoidant attachment styles are the styles of attachments that we basically use subconsciously within relationships to protect ourselves from bringing up these feelings of unworthiness these feelings of not good enoughness these feelings of just being unlovable and what i feel is that the solution for a lot of people has been to learn how to be detached and to not care and to do all these things and i feel like detaching and not caring is very is a very good skill to know how to do and to turn on but detaching and not caring and and being unattached I feel like is is something to apply when you need to protect yourself, right? When you need to put yourself in a position to where if you were to open up, you can clearly see that the other party has bad or malicious intentions towards you and that they can drain your energy if you were to open yourself up, if you were to open your heart to that person or in that situation, right? So I would only recommend really and truly detachment and not caring when there is clearly someone trying to harm you. That's the only time that I would really, really say to go into detachment, stop caring. Because if you do it like just as a general rule of thumb to get what you want out of relationships or get some kind of result out of the relationships that you're in what i feel like it does is it it puts the blinders on to people about how about how this detachment is really just a way for you to avoid opening your heart and allowing yourself to feel emotions and these emotions can be good emotions, these emotions can be bad emotions, but it's just allowing yourself to have empathy. And I don't know if you guys know this, but um, narcissism and mental, mental health issues are becoming a real thing, especially in the Western world. And that has a lot to do with the fact that people have come up in a narcissistic society like the united states in a lot of ways this corporation that we've all been brought up under 
in a lot of ways promotes the thriving and the aliveness of narcissistic tendencies and narcissistic behaviors. And even if someone isn't a full-blown narcissist, you can come to America and you can experience like this spectrum of narcissistic uh, or narcissism that you really wouldn't experience in other areas of the world. And this is because here we have really been disconnected from our hearts. We've been disconnected from feeling like it's safe to love. And that has happened because because of the narcissistic society we live in, people are being born and bred to be disconnected from their soul and do things and operate in ways that have no moral grounds, that have no um that no have no depth, that have like when you have a heart, you just don't do certain things. When you have a soul, when you have love inside of you, you just don't say certain things. You don't behave in certain ways. You don't carry yourself in certain ways. You know how to love yourself. You know how to respect yourself. And that energy vibrates outside outside of you and it, it emanates in, in your character and the way that you treat other people. So when you're connected to your heart, there's a level of self-awareness that you just have automatically about how you're showing up in the world, how other people are receiving you. And when you feel like you need to detach um, and the art of detachment, right? Like I love, I, like this is where I really am like wanting to let you guys know, like I do see the power in detachment and the beauty in being able to detach and and see things from um, a place that isn't emotionally tainted or emotional. There isn't emotions involved. But there is also an element of using detachment in order to stop yourself from feeling anything. And... I really see this, um, I see this very deeply when I look at the zodiac sign of Aquarius. I am an expert astrologer. I've been practicing astrology and doing uh, psychic and astrology re readings for over seven years. And on my other channel, Asaya Mystic, I have a lot of videos on astrology and things like that. You can check out some of my videos on the astrology topics over there um but since this is just in my nature to understand the astrology within things the art of detachment and being able to detach comes from the zodiac sign of aquarius and aquarius is this ruler of being able to detach and see the world from like a very detached perspective right it's being self detached is the Aquarian energy. So knowing and understanding that about Aquarius, I also know and understand the dark side of Aquarius and where Aquarius can go wrong. And this is where Aquarius is um, so detached that they're not allowing themselves to really be connected to anything. They're not connected to how anyone feels. They're not connected to anything that's going on. And so this is where I want to make sure that people are really asking themselves the question, like, is detaching really the answer to the scenario, which from the beginning of this video, I went into where I feel like detaching is a, the best route to go, um, which is when you need to protect yourself. Um, and if that isn't the case, if you don't really need to protect yourself emotionally in this scenario, and you're just kind of feeling like, oh, I'm gonna need to detach to get this kind of result, um, ask yourself if really the, the reality is if you are really just afraid to love and you're afraid to open your heart and you're afraid to connect with your heart. And I find that people that have been heartbroken can get into that situation or these scenarios where they feel like 
detaching is the answer detaching is the answer and i i know this because actually i had to check myself because i i i had gotten hurt before and i had gotten my heart broken before i got to a place where i said you know what if i don't if i just detach and i just don't care and i just um keep myself 10 steps away from the person or the issue and just you know observe but never really be like fully in it that was me running away from actually opening my heart and and being okay with being intimate with someone and being okay with being seen and being okay with being fully loved for all of myself and then that's when i realized like hey my my what i thought was me being detached was actually me feeling like I needed to be super passive and unreactive in situations when really I did want to say be involved, when really I did want to express, when really I did want to show myself and show my heart. And then I was like, I was kind of like pulling myself back on a leash, like, no, you can't, you have to detach. And so this is where... This is where I want to bring that awareness to you and ask you, are you really like practicing the art of detachment or are you just afraid to love? So some of the signs that can show that you are like actually do have a closed heart and you are like kind of like afraid to fully be in in a relationship, fully be in a, an experience with someone that you know you're getting to know and you're kind of like wanting to keep this kind of safety measure of detachment is the first one of the biggest things is like looking at your posture and seeing how you're carrying yourself just on a day-to-day -day basis so when you walk into rooms like when you're when you're going places like or even if you're just sitting down watching something uh, on your laptop or whatever you're doing like do you find yourself kind of like hunching over do you find yourself kind of having this more instead of a open and back posture do you find yourself kind of just like uh, like even if it's just a slight closing in of the shoulders so for me in my life I have been hurt so much in my life that my body started to just naturally close in inward especially my upper body and where my heart is so my upper body and my heart which all of this represents the heart area if if you're doing this this represents symbolically that emotionally you don't feel safe to be open that you feel like you need to have your defenses up that you feel like you have to be unattached that you can't talk like for me I, I i would close up i would shut down and i wouldn't talk i wouldn't express and to me i thought that that was me being detached and having power over the situation but then i realized like actually that's very cow that's very cowardly of me like i'm actually not saying what I feel. I'm actually not standing up for myself in in a lot of different scenarios. I could see that I wasn't doing that. And so in my relationships, I was also starting to see where I was really just afraid to love. I was afraid of love. I was afraid of being in love and I was afraid of getting hurt. And so this is um, like one of the clearest ways for me in my life where I was able to see like I'm really just afraid that's really what I am I'm afraid of the dance of love and the dance of experiencing love and the dance of getting hurt and and learning new things about myself and getting to getting to know myself because really when we're get, going into relationships you have to know and you have to have the intention of, of knowing that this is an experience that is going to require you to get to know yourself, to get to know who you are, to know yourself on a deeper level. So is that really what this is about when you want to detach and you want to um, not open up 
are you really just afraid of love? So these are good questions to ask yourself. And really, another sign is to be able to recognize if you are exclu if you're excusing your passivity and not um not doing things when you want to do them right because a heart is a very powerful guide okay a lot of people are afraid of the heart because you know when we when the heart wants something but we never take the time to really sit with what we're feeling. I mean, especially when we have trauma, like, and we're feeling things in our heart, right? So it's like when we feel things in our heart, it's moving us towards action. It's moving us towards love being a verb, okay? And, and expressing and doing something with that energy. So what, another sign for me is that I started to see my emotions as something that needed to be caged. Like, don't feel that, be detached, be detached. And it's like, no, what I really wanted to do in a lot of scenarios is I wanted to, I wanted to be more expressive. I wanted to show up, I wanted to ask questions. I wanted to be all of myself. And that fear was like there telling me, no, you can't act on this because it's your emotions, it's your heart. You have to be detached. So that's another way to kind of like see if you're actually using your passivity to excuse these deeper anxious and avoidant attachment styles that people I feel today are kind of masking with the art of detachment instead of really going deep and and seeing where it is that you or what it is that happened that's happened in your life or where it is that you feel like you don't have the permission to to be loved and feel safe to love because that's actually what is wanting to be released so that your relationships can magically become something that you don't need to detach from Right? You shouldn't have to need to detach from your relationships that like defeats the purpose of having connections and having bonds. Okay? Detachment comes in when you need to think about things, when you need to um analyze things, when you need to assess things and and come to logical conclusions, but relationships are the realm of the soul and the heart. And connecting and bonding with people is not a, a, sim, a simple mind hack, you know, of detachment. So that's what I wanted to come on here and talk to you guys about and share with you all and really ask yourself the question, if you are really and truly um, coming from a pure place in your detachment, and if you are afraid of love, if this video has brought you to, to the conclusion that there is some fear that you have around loving, my immediate advice to you would be to, number one, do um, start learning about your body and doing some body work, okay? So um, I'm currently open the, opening the doors for the end of November for my renewed program called Redemption. This is the... Uh, gateway to you discovering the miracle codes to regenerating and honoring yourselves so this is for the woman who has been carrying years and years of trauma in her body and needs to release that trauma so that she can open doors and new pathways to different manifestations in our life because a lot of times we holding on to stuff in our bodies you know we're carrying that stuff with us for a long time so this is for the woman that is ready to learn the practical tools knowledge and systems that i have applied into my own life that have allowed me to uh literally reverse age over the past decade i have like people tell me i look younger every other year that passes something about me just looks renewed and refreshed so um these are also 
um, the things that you'll be able to walk away with in this program and much much more so if this sounds like something you're interested in make sure that you send me an email to uh, we are at earthsfeminine.com or to my Instagram it'll be linked down below and um, aside from the body work and also you being invited into my five-week program that um, I'm going to be doing at the end of November my also my immediate advice to you would be to really start to uh, giving yourself permission to love and show up and express yourself and be emotional and in your expression of emotion have the permission to detach from whatever outcomes may come from that because with the detachment and the detachment being a part of this like emotional repression is not serving you but when you give yourself permission to love within the detachment that is serving you because when you express how you feel and you let yourself take the actions and do the things but then you detach from the outcome you detach to how other people might receive you you detach from wh what might happen that is where the magic happens so thank you so much for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to be a part of the earth's feminine community uh, if you learned something from this video, make sure you comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Do you think that the art of detachment, um, sorry guys, I gotta put my phone on, do not disturb. Um, I got distracted. So, but yeah, make sure you comment down below. What do you think? Do you feel like the art of detachment is healthy? Um, do you feel like it is enabling people to just give themselves permission to not open themselves to love and maybe even embody some narcissistic traits that this society kind of g gives us the environment to breed and grow? Um, or do you have another opinion? What's on your mind? Comment down below. Um, I'm excited to see you all in my next video and I hope you all have a beautiful rest of your day. Peace.